Hey YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here. Well, kind of off camera because you don't need to see me for this. Wanted to show you, um, for those who support me on Patreon, this is uh, actually something that I was able to pick up because of your support, something I've needed for a while, which is kind of a legit gaming keyboard. And I've just had this horrible mouse pad for a long time that doesn't work very well. So went and got a couple of things. I've got this Corsair MM300 mouse pad, which we'll take a look at. And then I've got this Strafe RGB MX Silent keyboard, so hopefully not going to be showing up in the microphone, which is one of the deals there. And this is interesting because this keyboard by Corsair is multicolor per key, which I guess doesn't really make me any better at gaming, but means that we have um, some sweet lighting patterns, and I'll show you some of that in a video. But let's do a quick unboxing. Right, let's open up the box on the keyboard and see what we got inside. So go ahead and break that open. Obviously, uh, lots of good packaging here. Everything's well put together. This is the, let me get this open all the way. There we go. Um, comes with this little wrist cushion here that's gonna be kind of nice. Has everything else in there. So I'll pull it out and we'll take a look at everything that's in there. All right, so here's the keyboard outside of all the plastic packaging. We'll go ahead and get up close to it here and uh, give you a shot. Maybe just go from one side to the other and see the, uh, the little wrist grip and everything that comes here. Very nice keyboard. Uh, in terms of the keys, listen, very quiet for mechanical keyboard. Um, I haven't used a bunch of other mechanical keyboards, but I've heard them in videos. And to me, that's coming across very quiet for a mechanical keyboard, which is nice. Again, every key is individually backlit. Here's the um, cord. This is interesting. Comes with two USBs. Um, on the end of one cord that connects to the back of this. So I don't know if one of them is maybe for USB pass-throughs because it does have that. Um, it may just be extra power um, running to all of the LEDs. That could also be it. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, it has two USB plugs. So something to be aware of if you're maybe running, running short on USB ports. But I mean, typically those are pretty easy to come by. But yeah, that's what's in the packaging. Uh, next, I'll show it with it all powered up. One last thing I forgot to show for the keyboard is there's a little tool that it comes with for removing keys. There's actually some keys here that you can put in in certain spaces. I think it's supposed to help with FPS or MMO games that have a different feel to them so that you can feel them easier and know when you're on the right key. So anyway, that's something that was just kind of interesting too that I forgot to throw in there. So I've got the keyboard plugged in. It automatically went into this like sweet lighting mode. I've downloaded the software, which was real easy to do. I'm going to start messing with the um, ability to program any key individually. So I'll just again try and get you all a little bit closer up view and try and keep it to where it actually focuses. It is just a phone camera here, but yeah, there's the uh, mouse pad all the way out to the edge. And then back this way so you can see it's long enough to fit the keyboard and the mouse quite comfortably in the setup. So yeah, let's uh, get the keys programmed and show you some of the different things you can do. All right, so I wanted to show you a few of the keyboard options here in terms of coloring and everything, just some of the effects that come built in. This is, again, every individual key is backlit, meaning that you can go through and completely customize the entire set of effects, which is very impressive. Um, just, you know, I mean, it doesn't, like, again, change gameplay, but just extremely impressive in terms of uh, just what you can customize here. So, I mean, you can put individual solid colors in the background, Just and there's an entire color palette, too. You don't just have to choose one of these. These are just the preset colors that I'm rifling through real quick. Let's say that we want to stick with, like, say, this, this dark red. We like that. But then there's effects, too. So, for instance, let's show you. Um, we can do a, a spiral rainbow to where your keyboard does this crazy spiral rainbow thing like it did when we started off. Uh, there's a rainbow wave where your keyboard will wave back and forth with different colors. Um, the visor. So I guess it's like a Star Trek thing, like Jordy's visor here. So pretty wicked stuff. And then... Um, and all these colors in each one of these can be customized as well. There's rain, which is pretty psychedelic there too, in case you need to kind of have a, a trip while you're playing Total War. Maybe this helps calm the rage when the AI is doing things that you hate. Um, so color shift, this one's kind of cool, you know, it'll just like shift between different colors on the keyboard. And again, all this is customizable as well. Color pulse, which was kind of neat, like it pulses between colors. So pretty neat effect there. It'll shift around. Uh, color wave. So going between colors on the waves there. And again, you can customize that effect. Um, type lighting. Now this one was pretty cool. Like, so if we do type lighting and set the background to black, this will help demonstrate it. But let's say that we just start typing. So it lights the keys that I've touched and then they slowly fade off. 
which is an interesting effect there. And then type ripple. This is definitely one of my favorites as well. I'll leave the keyboard black. Check that out. It ripples out as you, uh, as you type in the keyboard. Of course, you can put a solid background on there and do the ripple effect too. See, it'll still ripple through whatever background color you have too. So pretty neat in terms of what you can do with it. And then if you have a void headset, um, you can set it to, uh, like void is Corsair's headset, I don't have one, but you can set it to work with your void headset to go with either the uh, playback or the microphone so that it will follow the colors of what's going on with your RGB headset, which that's pretty cool to see how they can connect their products. But anyway, that gives you a pretty good overview. Uh, like I said, pretty quiet. Um, it looks like a very nice keyboard, very well lit, very solid built. The mouse pad also very nice, um, accentuates the deck, desk. Uh, very happy with what I have here. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, that was a quick unboxing and quick look at the RGB Strafe uh, MX Silent keyboard by Corsair.